I'll just straight up with a quick check in for the collective. I hope that you're feeling great. I appreciate you. Appreciate your positive energy. Someone's in a tower. Receiving some type of bad news. Death reverse. They don't want something to end or There's something about the opposite of that happening, some sort of good news, page of pentacles, page of staff, some sort of offer, potential, proposal. Someone doesn't want something to end. Yeah, nine of swords, somebody's real anxious, nervous. Ten of Wands reverse about letting go of a burden or being shamed because of a Four of Wands, a happy home, a marriage, a party, a union, a milestone. We have it again, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Reverse. Someone feels empty inside. Someone doesn't love someone. There's an absence of self-love at a party or because of a union or someone feeling unloved. There's an emperor here in the upright, a masculine energy that's a guiding light within a tribal unit. This could be a boss. A father figure, a spouse, a match, an energetic match for an empress, two of wands. Someone's making some type of plans here. Something has to be planned out. And once the path is figured out, they can take action. It's a choice. Choice on what action to take. And there's some type of sadness or loss connected to this. Somebody is thinking very deeply about this. <sighs> about manifesting. About what they've, about someone that's a manifester here. Somebody feels very sad or disillusioned about someone here who has done something all on their own or who is very independent. Or about about being, being alone. Temperance reverse is the challenge. So somebody feels like something's just not flowing. Nine of Pentacles, it has to do with someone being very independent, self-made, uh, single, Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, someone is really depressed or nervous about being alone or someone doing something alone here, somebody very independent. Temperance Reverse, something is not a good mix or somebody could be drinking a lot or somebody could be I don't know, they're just very nervous depressed. Maybe they're having trouble sleeping. It has to do with this page of pentacles, this offer, this someone's potential, someone making an offer to someone who's very independent. Hierophant reverse. Something could be traditionally off here. Someone's in a tower. This could be a divorce as well. Hierophant reverse. Or there's like a religious leader or somebody who's very judgmental and controlling. Tower. This is turning tradition on its head. This could be a group of people who um, there's like maybe religion involved, but it's overly dogmatic or there's a group that's very practicing some sort of religion that's, that's taken too far or unorthodox. Somebody's just very unhappy and they're, they're in this tower. They're in a tower. 
Seven of Swords, there's like a lie. A lie that's here. Lying, cheating, stealing. And lovers reverse. Some sort of a decision in love, a breakup. Somebody is planning, planning. Somebody is very nervous about this. Deep down, Page of Pentacles, there's something about giving someone an offer or someone's potential or an opportunity or business even, business. Someone feels very disillusioned, very, very sad. Nine of Pentacles about someone who is very independent, somebody who is single or somebody who's done something all on their own here. Because a Nine of Pentacles with a Page of Pentacles, that's somebody offering someone one more pentacle. And then that becomes a Ten of Pentacles. It does seem like somebody here is planning something or something needs to be reworked. Someone needs to take a step back and look at how they're spending their time and energy. Justice reverse. Something is unfair. Something is very unfair. Three of Cups reverse. This could have to do with social gatherings, a third party situation, a social dynamic where something is not, not right. Um, three of Pentacles reverse, more people, more situations regarding work or collaborations, maybe some sort of a information research, somebody communicating with someone about the facts or somebody researching or someone a little nosy here a hermit someone looking in on some some situation someone researching there's a tower here somebody is looking looking into something or someone researching they're in a tower whatever this is feels like outside of themselves it can feel catastrophic it can feel like King of Swords. Some someone here is very diplomatic and just and has a bird's eye view. Somebody is rational, intelligent. This could be a protective or just energy. This could be a person. This could be Archangel Michael. Um it's something about Someone here being very self, like self-made or someone has, who has done something on their own. Someone's in a tower about this. Someone's researching somebody, somebody's status. Or there's a tower over an ending. Ace of Cups. This could be sadness, losing love. Um, or feeling empty inside, watching a four of wands situation. This is about a happy home, a celebration. Recent past, nine of pentacles. Here, here's this person who's very um, resourceful, has built something on their own. Seven of swords. Somebody here is lying. Keeping secrets, cheating, stealing. But there's a King of Swords here who seems to be aware of this lie, this cheating, this stealing. Death reverse. Someone doesn't want something to be over. Six of Cups. There's some sort of unconditional love here. There's unconditional love. There's sweet sweetness. There's nostalgia. Happy memories. Somebody's reworking something here. Some, someone needs to take a step back and figure out. I don't know. Somebody's got secrets or they're sneaking. Seven of Swords. Someone's very unhappy and there's these secrets. Um, sneaking, lying, cheating, stealing. But it feels like this King of Swords is aware or sees something or knows something. Or is, Watching intentions, expectations, page of swords. So somebody's 
intending on having some sort of conversation or somebody is going to research or look into something. Seven of Cups. Something about someone having options or being confused, but there's a King of Swords here that sees everything. Death Reverse. Someone doesn't want something to end. Somebody is moving towards someone passionately. There's something about a Three of Cups situation. There's some type of third party situation or a social dynamic where something is off. Someone here could be a sweet talker. Somebody could be crying. Someone could be in their feelings. Somebody is researching. Someone's looking within. Somebody's... Someone's looking within. Somebody doesn't want something to end, but somebody is following their passion here. A King of Wands is in a tower. Or someone's in a tower because this King of Wands is following their passion. Um, huh. Near future, Two of Swords. Somebody is having trouble communicating. Someone isn't making a decision. Somebody's in denial. Somebody's in a stalemate or trying to create a stalemate. Maybe someone doesn't want to be rejected. It's a tower. There's a tower here in the near future. Eight of Cups reverse. Someone's not walking away or something is stagnant. There's a High Priestess reverse energy involved here. With the Six of Cups. Somebody is reworking something. So there's a feminine energy that's involved, that's real, has secrets, has a hidden agenda. Um, the lens that someone's looking through is Eight of Pentacles. So someone could be looking at someone who's putting the work in, somebody who's mastering something. This could be someone focused on work, putting in the effort for a relation in a relationship. But there's someone here, a Queen of Cups reverse, full reverse, that's doing something reckless or feels foolish, or someone feels foolish regarding this Queen of Cups reverse. Someone is reckless, a Queen of Cups reverse is reckless. Yeah, this is like a High Priestess reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. I feel like this is the same person. It's like a feminine energy who's very manipulative, very, very manipulative. Maybe it's some type of someone who uses emotional blackmail. They could be really in their feelings. Death reverse, they don't want something to end. In the environment. Sun reverse. Someone seems to be very unhappy here. Or it seems like someone's trying to block someone's happiness. Someone could be very disillusioned in the environment. And people could see that. I feel like people can see it because it's in the environment and it really does feel like it matches this Ace of Cups reverse energy. Just this sort of depression or sadness. It's definitely someone is coming across as like something is not a, something is off. Someone's unhappy, very unhappy tower under the deck again. Someone's in some sort of a an emotional break breakdown. They're uh, waking up to some sort of facts. Um, 
This could be an ego death. This could be somebody really un unable to ignore some very powerful truth. Whatever this is, it, it's outside of someone's... Something's going on that someone can't control. And something could be falling apart based on egos and ego and lies. Three of Pentacles reversed. This could involve work. Or some sort of a collaboration that's falling apart. There's a King of Wands here in the upright. So there's a masculine energy that doesn't seem to be... Affected by this Ace of Cups reverse, this Sun reverse. Yeah. Someone is in some type of an illusion. Some, or someone is traveling. Seven of Cups. Somebody could feel like someone is confused or someone has options here. But someone doesn't want something to end. There's there's money involved. There's money, there's family money or wealth or luxurious environment. Business, a very stable business. Yeah, something to do with family, family money. Someone here feels defeated. This is someone who's been operating out of their ego. Um, there is an emperor here in the upright. There is a masculine energy in the upright. And there's a king of wands in the upright. So I feel like there's two masculine energies. Unless this is describing one person, a masculine energy. who, um, One who's like a visionary, uh, very enigmatic. A leader and another who is like in charge, um, a guiding light within a tribal unit, somebody who is in control but not controlling. There's something about someone getting out of some sort of a psychological trap here someone not wanting something to end but this king of swords seems to be here as well so it's it's feeling like someone's using logic or somebody see, has a bird's eye view someone's applying logic someone's very intellectual or there's a king of swords that's involved this could be a judge a police officer this could be an aspect um, I mean, a uh, detective. This could be an aspect of somebody's personality. So it could be an aspect of the Emperor, an aspect of the King of Wands. Or this could be a very protective energy, uh, like Archangel Michael watching over something that is, someone is doing, someone is sneaking, lying, cheating, or somebody is keeping something. They're sneaking. Two of Cups reverse. It's... It has to do with a breakup or it has to do with a couple that is not a good match. Two people in se separation, emotional distance. Um, hopes and fears. Nine of Wands reverse. Someone's worried someone's going to just give up that someone can't keep carrying the torch or someone's worried that they're going to be exposed for some kind of very obstinate behavior something that holds very someone taking actions that hold very little meaning so Three of Cups reverse. This is a social dynamic that's off. There, 
Maybe cheating going on here with the Seven of Swords and Three of Cups reverse. Um, and there's something about someone feeling like they are going to be falling from grace because of something going on here with this social group or some sort of third party situation. That's the tower. The tower has to do with this group or, or a third party situation. Um, but someone doesn't want something to end here. There's a high priestess reverse. I feel like they don't want something to end. This is somebody who's very, very manipulative, operating, they have a hidden agenda. This person could tap into lower vibrational spiritual energy. They could come across as if they're very spiritual, but be guiding others the wrong way as well. It's something about someone getting out of a trap, getting out of a trap. There could be someone here who's very clingy or only cares about security or just wants someone or wants to hold on to something that doesn't belong to them. There's some sort of a tower here connected to a king of swords. And somebody feeling like a failure with this two of cups reverse. Someone could have put you in a third party situation, meaning there was some emotional, very strong emotional connection with someone and they got into an, another relationship. Um, outcome is 10 of pentacles. So whatever this concern is about generational wealth, windfall, inheritances, money, It seems to be unaffected or someone's building this ten of ten of pentacles or someone is I don't know, I'm gonna just clarify. Five of Cups, High Priestess Reverse. Someone could be very disappointed that they a lot of regret that they got involved with this high priestess reverse. Yeah. A Queen of Cups reverse. Maybe this is the same person or this is two feminine energies that are just very manipulative and draining. There's something going on with one or two feminine energies. Something is very draining and secretive and lower vibrational. And they're focused on this King of Wands. There's a King of Wands in the uprights. This is... So you have a King of Wands in the upright. You have an Emperor in the upright. You have a King of Swords in the upright. And then you've, you have a High Priestess Reverse and a Queen of Cups Reverse. So I feel like that's three, three masculine energies in the upright. And two feminine energies in the reverse. Let's clarify. What's going on with this Ace of Cups reverse and this Four of Wands? something to do with an empress energy this whole reading so queen of swords it could be something about you speaking your truth or there's someone here on your side of feminine energy maybe there's a professional feminine energy that's on your side or this is you speaking your truth ace of wands there's some type of um, passion here Creativity, divine spark, uh, connection, 
And it's like there's a drama here that someone is stuck in. Something someone feels definitely stuck. There seems to be some sort of conflict here. There could be a lot of people involved. Keeping someone in a drama. There could be some sort of stagnation. Maybe someone tried to leave and they ended up in a worse conflict. Or um, someone can't see clearly or is having trouble communicating clearly. What's this Ace of Cups reverse about? There's no love in this marriage? Or there's someone here that's very judgmental about this love? Or there's a group here or there's religion involved? Someone could be very narrow-minded, Ace of Cups reverse. Something could be feel very inconsistent. Two of Wands reverse, it's like not making plans. Devil reverse. Three of Cups reverse. There's like people here. There could be a lot of um, drinking and partying. Someone, Ace of Cups reverse. Somebody, Devil reverse. Three of Cups reverse. This feels like somebody who um, is involved with multiple people, likes to party a lot. Maybe a lot of substance use. There could be a lot of drinking. Ace of Wands reverse. Someone's not passionate about someone. Someone is not connected to someone. It's like some sort of loss. Someone could feel lifeless. And there's some kind of a situation where someone someone is sort of the opposite of all that. Very much healing or operating with temperance. Someone here, there is a connection here or there's a lot of restraint. Someone, someone is, has, Someone practices, has practiced a lot of restraint in this situation and has defended themselves from this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Someone here who's real, like, spoiled or temperamental. Something is just not a good mix, but it feels like someone's trying to keep, hold on. But it feels like somebody, that, that someone's trying to hold on to someone who is just not interested and they, they seem to be, uh, I would say this, this person is dating a lot or this person isn't closing the door and, and, but they're, but I'm not sure about that because this five of cups, there's some sort of sadness here. Maybe someone did this in the past. Maybe they did this in the past. Uh, tell me about this Four of Wands. A union, a celebration, a marriage, a happy home, a milestone. Something about someone taking an alternate path. Someone has to adjust to new circumstances. Something about someone really giving up. Someone, someone really um, defensive. Someone here has protected themselves. Had to defend themselves from some sort of a situation here where there's some sort of stagnation or indecision. Someone could be very obstinate and someone ha is refusing to see something. And there's a lot of change going on. Someone, someone 
isn't doesn't want to persevere because they, they left a two of cups out in the cold or someone doesn't It has to do with love, I feel like. There is some sort of a two of cups here, but someone is real non-committal or someone didn't commit to this earth angel energy. Lovers reverse. There's some type of like a breakup going on or someone didn't choose this person. Instead, I feel like they chose this nine of pentacles reverse. So this person could be real needy or like a gold digger. Ten of Swords, that is what's crushing. That could be what's ending. Or it's crushing because there's a Ten of Cups here. There's this happily ever after maybe that someone is witnessing. And maybe they want out of the cold. Someone feels like, yeah, there's something about a Two of Cups here. But someone is defending themselves. Or someone is defending a Two of Cups. And someone here feels crushed or ruined or defeated or betrayed Tempest reverse something is just not a good mix um, someone is off someone is off balance someone could have a chemical imbalance it's not a good mix between two people someone just can't heal from something uh, nothing is working out nothing is flowing someone is um Impulsive, Ten of Wands, Reverse. It's an insurmountable problem. Something's just not a good mix. And then there's here, there's you. You're a Queen of Cups in the Upright. You, you were never an option. You're not an option. There's an Empress Reverse here, though. Who's focused on you, the star energy that you hold, and criticizing you. And there, But there's a two of cups here. It's like someone feels like nothing's working out for them, and there's all this fighting going on, or someone's in competition with you, and it's, it's not, they're not gaining anything. And they see you as this Queen of Cups. So somebody is um, clearly sees you're a sweetheart, very empathic, very balanced. You've handled something with balance. You've handled this situation with balance. There's someone a, a, a attacking you that, um, and you've defended yourself. And someone feels defeated because 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 over time the truth of your character ha has kind of superseded whatever these lies are and this confusion and the drama um, there's some sort of comparison being drawn I just feel like someone has like a whiny energy or very I should say entitled someone comes across as very entitled like drama starter and there's some relationship here that's not a good mix there could be someone here who's real like they're trying to push something that's not it's not working it's not a good mix and it's clear that whoever this person is is trying to put you down but you're a queen of cups and you've had to defend yourself from some kind of um, absurd situation I feel like someone someone can see that, you know, you are a Queen of Cups, you've always been a Queen of Cups, and you've done something all on your own, Nine of Pentacles, you've built something on your own while, you know, there's this drama going on, someone pointing fingers at you, always, you know, constantly putting you down, and it's like you're just in your own lane here, though, and there's something about that, like this sort of abusive situation. There's a lot of change going on. Um, yeah, Knight of Swords reversed. There's someone who's very hateful. 
lashing out, three of cups reverse. There could, there could be a lot of excess here. This could be happening at a party. It just seems like everything is ruined. There's like gossip, spying, slander, too many people involved. There could be cheating. There's a lot of people here. Um, there could be just hookups, a lot of hookups. Um, yeah, this is very uh, hedonistic situation. It's very self-indulgent. It's abusive. It's it, somebody here acts without without patience. It's a Queen of Pentacles reverse. This could be someone who's just very self-centered, very materialistic, superficial, demanding, a bully, and cheating to get ahead. Um, it's like a stalker, a liar. Wow. Yeah, and who feels like they've got some sort of unfinished business here. This this Empress Reverse. Or they have an Empress Reverse. There's a Queen of Pentacles Reverse, a High Priestess Reverse, and an Empress Reverse involved. It has something to do with you manifesting. When you manifest, they feel like their ships aren't coming in or something they were waiting for isn't going to happen. Instead, they're getting this wheel in the reverse. There's no no... No creativity, no spark, no passion, no attraction, no connection. Someone here could be in, in this relationship and feeling like they need to defend themselves or you've defended yourself from a situation where someone maybe was trying to outdo you or, you know, you, you can't take someone from another person. You, you can't, you know, ultimately... You know, people don't belong to other people. But I feel like this person was trying to take your person. You know, it's got that kind of... But just to be the winner or just to have the money. And then is not happy or satisfied with it. And I feel like if you've moved on... That makes this person upset as well. It's, it just feels like this person is constantly... It's like a stalker. It's a stalker and a bully. Very vengeful, very frivolous. Someone acts without thinking. And you've, you're taking this leap of faith. You're moving the other way. You're not, I don't even think you're paying attention to this. You seem happy. You seem optimistic. And it's something is like, there's a stark difference between you and this person that somebody is seeing or is coming to light here. Yeah, someone's real disillusioned with this situation because this is just total drama and negativity. Um, yeah, someone's in a lot of regret. They're in a lot of regret. And also there's a group here that if there's supposed to be some sort of collaboration, like if this is a work situation or a couple that works together or something like that it's in disarray or it's not producing um there's a lack of success here or they're not achieving their greatest heights i feel like someone's disappointed in this group or they don't see eye to eye or they're not on the same page or there's like power plays going on yeah someone just feels like nothing's coming in for them actions that they've taken are leading to no not nowhere there's a lot of um, friction or tension in this group, people in competition with one another, and a lot of it stems from the drama connected to this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Um, deep down, someone feels like Page of Pentacles. Um, someone didn't plan well, or someone has some type of fear around someone making you an offer, or your potential... This could be a King of Cups reverse that sees you as a star energy. Um, that is involved with this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Or this Queen of Pentacles reverse feels like this King of Cups reverse sees you as a star energy. There's an Empress reverse. I feel like there's more than one feminine energy involved. This could be a mother figure, a family member. 
there's someone else, there's there's other people involved, there's like a group, but this this has like the feeling of like maybe a mother figure and, and a daughter or um, two feminine energies that are in cahoots together at work or something like that, or like a, a sister and a wife or a sister, a wife and a mother. Um, but whatever they've been trying to steal or steal or yeah. Oh, there, there's also a King of Swords reverse involved. It seems like it's just they're exposed. It's something about enough time has passed by where you're you're having this new start, this leap of faith, and it's it just looks pointless. It just looks like drama. It's like you turned your back to the drama and are not interested in being dragged into some sort of emotionally draining situation. It's like cutting your losses or cutting cords or letting go or doing some healing or handing, handling something with a lot of grace. And there's something about this moment in time with you having this new start and this sort of the fool is the very beginning of the deck. It's infinite potential, and there's like a, a sense of trust and faith in 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 the universe. In um, the, there's some sort of omniscient presence presence that there's order to things. That there's something to look forward to. There's a a trust in the universe, and there's some a feeling of like infinite potential that anything is possible. And I feel like that energy that you're in. It's, it's in contrast to this drama and somebody, you know, um, pointing fingers and criticizing and creating all these issues and all this fighting and infighting and drama and cheating and lying and stealing. It just, it's clear you're not the problem. It's clear you're not the problem. And it's also clear that you, you've done something on your own in spite of all of this drama that you're not interested in the drama. It's like this, it's a one-sided drama. And I feel like this could be an ex that um, got themselves involved here. But I definitely feel there's a lot of people, whoever this main character is here in this reading, they're very much in regret because you're a queen of cups. And I feel like if someone didn't value that aspect of you, they do now. Maybe they didn't think that that was, you know, emotional stability um, important and um, emotionally, you know, peace, emotional peace, um, a compassionate person. Um, maybe they didn't find strength in that, but there is something about it. There's like a, a painful irony going on here because... Yeah, there's like a King of Cups reverse. Like there's someone here that didn't match you. They could be, they could have been easily manipulated. Somebody who was unfair, someone who was maybe ruthless or vicious with you. They're behind you, they're behind you, they're upside down, they see you, they're looking at you, you're in the upright. This, is, this could have been your match. They could feel like they were your match. You could be a very nurturing person. And there's just so much negativity here. And, there's, and it's also very clear that someone's attacking a Queen of Cups. Why would anybody do that? I feel like this King of Cups reverse can see that. There, there's something about your stance and the time that has gone by that's... that's making something clearer and clearer and about the situation and uglier and uglier. The more they attack you, the uglier it looks because you're a sweet person. It's not saying you're perfect or that you think you're perfect, but that's your default. There, this, there could be some sort of a divorce here or somebody didn't choose you or someone doesn't or they're in a situation where there's no passion. And I feel like 
they feel like there's good news around you and it has to do with your temperance, your patience, your restraint. I feel like the word restraint is really important too because you're a queen of cups that's really just focused on your own lane here. Very healing energy, very angelic energy. Um, and the fact that you've shown restraint with this injustice and evil-mindedness um, and drama and negativity and all uncalled for. It's it's all so pointless and I feel like this has been going on for a long time and you've shown beautiful, beautiful restraint and it's um, there's only you know the test of time has you know revealed something about about you and about your your potential but also your strength of character because it's not like you weren't aware that this was going on and you didn't you didn't lower your energy or your vibration to match what whatever was going on here. It's like you chose the uh, you took you chose the higher road, the higher path, whatever that saying is, and then you got busy building something here. Yeah, and there's some something about the way you've handled this situation. Um, and, and who you are as well as exposing these people. You could be happy, there could be some sort of optimism around you that a King of Swords reverse and a Nine of Pentacles reverse. So it's like a, whoever this other, there's another masculine here. Um, there's someone, or this is describing this mask, there's, there could have been a masculine energy in competition with you, real, um, Sneaky, deceitful, malicious, plotting, someone lacking an em empathy gene that wanted reward without effort. I feel like this is someone who was jealous of you, who maybe felt like something fell in your lap, or they didn't like that you're a queen of cups because they're a king of swords reversed. This could be someone that hides the emptiness that they feel, that they, they, they could have trouble accessing their own emotions. They could feel like they're, they're, you know, it's an endless deep pit inside. They have nothing but anger. Um, and they, they could wear a mask um, and hate you because you have love in your heart. Uh, maybe that is enough to make this person, you know, maybe they feel like you're not wily enough. I think that's the, the word, calculating enough you know, someone dismissing you because of your kind nature or something like that. Um, so there's something about you being very stable here that's got got someone here that, that wanted something instead of you upset. I feel like because you built something again um, and it shows that something wasn't luck um, or it's, it's just showing you, you've always been about putting the work in or something like that, or that you're capable. But I feel like somebody was trying to maybe just say, you know, it was dumb luck or, you know, trying to overlook you. But I feel like it's because deep down they were jealous. Somebody here doesn't have the spark. Somebody's a liar. Somebody was trying to cheat or cheat you out of something here. And there's something very stark being exposed here when it's com in comparison to you building something here on your own. Some sort of lies, lies about you. It's just something very clear about you having the, the spark or the innovation or the, the vitality or creativity, the passion, the downloads. Um, you were never an option, you were never confused, or it's clearing something up for somebody here. That you're a Ten of Cups, that you are their Ten of Cups, or you're, you're uh, manifesting this Ten of Cups in your life, and someone feels very empty inside in comparison. 
Someone's going to be doing some sort of research. Page of Swords. Page of Pentacles reverse about what happened to an offer. And you defending yourself. Or someone wants to have a conversation about this. Um, involving the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Somebody could be wanting to speak about what you've had to defend yourself from. It has to do with this Ten of Cups energy and this group of people or this cheating or this dysfunctional group or this excess, some, something going on, partying with this... There's a group here where something's really awry. There's like a whole group that are in their ego connected to a Queen of Pentacles reverse and a third party situation or some kind of social dynamic that is very dysfunctional. Um, and it's like you've defended yourself. Some Somebody... Somebody trying to block you, block an offer, block your potential, you defending yourself. Someone could be looking into it or want to talk about it. Um, something about you're, you're not rejected. Um, you're, you're not out in the cold. Um, you're a high priestess energy. You're very wise and intuitive. Maybe you're very quiet about what you know and you see. Maybe you always have been, but not because... You're, you're trying to be secretive, but because some of these things are, it's not the right time, or it's just, it doesn't feel like you're supposed to talk about it. Maybe it's an internal feeling. It's not the right time or the right place, or it's between you and the divine. Or sometimes these things, they, they come from the subconscious and they're hard to articulate. Um, sometimes it's hard to encapsulate the whole universe, or these, I don't mean that you understand the whole universe, I'm just saying that it's, you know, the universe itself doesn't, doesn't always translate on this level, this layer, this dimension. So what you tap into, sometimes it's not, you can't articulate it with words. Um, or sometimes you'll have an imprint of a vision and you know where it's leading, but it's not, it's not up to you to tell someone maybe more than once, hey, I see this happening. And then it's up to them. They have free will. You're not trying to control people. And also then that also means that, you know, that... You may know things, but also um, there's free will and there's the divine and the, everybody has their limited understanding. So for you to... Um, tell people what to do, it kind of, it, you know, it puts you in a, in a funny position. I just don't think that that's, that's you. Um, if someone asks you, you'll tell them what you, what you think, but you, you don't want to try to dictate. You're, you're feeling your way through as well, but I feel like you, you're, you're highly intuitive and very, very wise. And I definitely feel like you know things. I feel like someone wants to research or talk to you about about the situation, about how you handle it, for some reason, something about you being a very intuitive person, um, and maybe something, you know, being exposed about that, or your happiness, the fact that you're happy in spite of something that happened here, and someone feeling punished by all of it. Maybe you saw, saw it coming, um, you saw how this was gonna end, someone being stuck, they can't make a move. Um, this is, could be someone who wants out of the cold or they want to know how you got out of the cold. Someone, someone here is a defeated, betrayed. Um, there's someone here who doesn't want something to be over. A King of Cups reverse. They're, they're in the reverse, so if they're coming towards you, they could also have a King of Swords reverse around them um, that knows your High Priestess. I don't know who this is that's coming towards you, but um, somebody feels like they they failed or there's some sort of fall from grace. They don't want something to be over. Uh, I don't know if this has to do with work or if there's something about putting the work in or healing something or you've, 
you're, you're healing or you're focused on, you've managed something from a very balanced perspective, you operate in the middle way, you could be focused on mastering some skill or just very focused on work. There does seem to be some sort of a party group or social dynamic here, There's, it's, or somebody has a lot of people around them that there could be a lot of hookups. There's a bully here. There's a lot going on. Uh, I feel like this person's thinking deeply about it, but there's also a Queen of Pentacles reverse here. Um, there's a lot of injustice, and um, but there's a Four of Wands here. There are a lot of people competing or fighting over this Four of Wands energy. Yeah. Uh, over a two of cups and a four of wands, someone thinking very deeply about where all the drama is coming from and why and who you are and now they're feeling punished and stuck. That could be partially what the tower is. Maybe there's no no move someone can make in the near future. There, there's no contact or no decision being made or someone's trying to keep the peace. Um about a Two of Cups, love and harmony in the near future. Somebody here is manifesting love and harmony. There's some sort of a blessing here. There could be someone in denial about this. Yeah, Two of Swords again. There's some sort of indecision or a painful choice here around a Two of Cups. Someone giving someone something here with this Ace. Someone is really thinking, someone is going deep within about a Ten of Cups in the near future. There could be some sort of a divorce or something like that. Um, this could be a King of Pentacles in the reverse, an Emperor reverse. There's so many people involved. There, um, maybe they have to keep the peace with all of these people. Emperor reverse, Emperor reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, or someone's in denial about this gossip, the lies, Someone's trying to keep the peace, but someone here is busy manifesting, though. And someone is going within about this painful choice. Someone doesn't want to take accountability, a King of Swords reversed. There's so many people here. Someone just feels stuck and punished. They're, they really regret. They really regret this. Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone focused on work or putting the work in or seeing you put the work in. Um, yeah, you're handling something with patience, restraint. Um, six of Pentacles, getting paid, something being made fair, uh, while someone's busy criticizing you, and it's like, they might as well be just criticizing a blank wall, because it doesn't matter, whatever they're saying, it doesn't apply, and that it's so clear that you're, you're in your own lane, you're not, you're not bothering these people, and what they're actually saying about you isn't true, it's not a match, and, and the more they do that, the more someone can see the strength, the resolve of your spirit, the middle way, you operating out of the middle way, and you focused, you focus on work. The more you focus on work, and the more this person criticizes you, the more it's like, why are you bothering this person? The sun reverse, so these, these people, or someone here just seems very unhappy. Um, Someone could be trying to keep the peace or in denial here. Um, somebody is gossiping. Someone is stalking someone. Someone's very vengeful in the environment. Someone's a bully in the environment. Knight of Swords reverse. Death reverse. They won't let something go. It's an Empress reverse. And a Queen of Pentacles reverse. There could be two feminine energies. They, they, this drama is never ending. There's a lot of sadness here. Someone refuses to see something. It could have to do with someone's loving energy. Um, there could be a child involved in the situation. Someone feels empty inside. There's no love here. Somebody is... I feel like they know you've recovered from... You don't, you don't care about... These people are operating out of some very dysfunctional... If they've rejected you, you, you don't want to be part of it anyway. It's toxic. You don't want to be involved. And if they reject you... Well, rejection is God's protection, or it's all it's going to do is drain you. You don't want to look at, towards these people for a perspective on what kind of a person you are. 
obviously if someone's criticizing you for no reason, um, why would you care what their opinion is? And that's a waste of time. Um, the, there's some sort of lunacy here or fear around a divorce or a breakup. Um, you reap what you sow kind of energy. There's a lot of, you know, maybe loss, loss of a happily ever after. Someone's definitely in a tower. They could see love in your life or see this loving energy or be really thinking about the love. They feel love. They could feel like they only have their instincts to go by regarding some sort of divorce. So much gossip going on here. It's like someone doesn't love themselves. Someone doesn't love themselves. There's someone here suffering. Someone is really suffering. And they're going through a lot of, there's a lot of introspection here. Um, during all, it's like someone's in competition with you. It's clear someone doesn't love themselves or someone hates themselves or there's no love here. And that this person feels defeated and the more defeated they feel because it's clear you're not with narrative they're trying to project onto you and it's clear that they're stalking you or they're gossiping or they're trying to defame you um and that they won't let something go the more they do this the clearer and then they then they try to also love bomb at the same time um i don't know if somebody um wants to come towards you that's a king of pentacles reverse but there's definitely a king of swords reverse and a king of pentacles reverse involved and someone doesn't want to let something go it seems like everything is spiraling downwards for these people a lot of it has to do with this queen of pentacles reverse someone can't stand that something's being made fair that this just energy and this could even be you in a position to give um, where where you weren't before, um, and if if that's not the case now, it's you know you're you're heading in that direction. Um, yeah, someone just feels real spooked. I feel like spooked and punished. Yeah, especially because you're high priestess energy. This person could know that you intuit whatever situation it is that they're. Um, they're in, if you're, if you're a reader, um, they could have found your, you know, your channel and be spooked by the fact that you, you know, this is an aspect of you that they weren't aware of. Um, they might've just seen you as a queen of wands, um, and they didn't put it together, but they know that you're benevolent. They know you're a good person and that there's someone here trying to slander you and there's a lot of stalking going on and the whole thing could feel very um otherworldly absurd it's hard to wrap the mind around what the situation is especially because there's a collective of people and you're in this high priestess energy um and also you're happy or something is being exposed about you this loving energy the truth, clarity, breakthrough energy. You could approach things with like a sense of awe. You could you could be in that phase. New, newness, newness, loving energy. And someone just feels real empty inside. And I feel like someone was, it wants to go through, go into a divorce or something where there's a, where there's a partnership here, a king of swords reverse and a king of pentacles reverse that are going through some type of a, a breakup or a, they're dissolving dissolving a business or something like that and then you've got this critical queen of swords reverse maybe this is like some type of like a a business that's falling apart or a family um yeah there's an emperor reverse there could be a father figure involved it just seems like everything's falling apart for all of them nine nine of wands reverse death reverse this is like some sort of obstinate person that doesn't want to let something go and they're ruining their own life. Will of Fortune reverse? 
they're ruining their own life. The more they try to attack you, you know, the more they're real. You know, there's because even if somebody doesn't believe in any of this stuff, the the pragmatic the pragmatic answer is if you spend all your time attacking someone else, you're not taking that time to um, nurture whatever your own personal strengths are or your personal friendships. You know, I feel like this Queen of Swords reverse with that Knight of Cups, um, this is a sweet talker to someone that wears a mask. And I think they spend a lot of time on that as well. So they're not busy actually cultivating anything. They're not manifesting whatever their soul, their soul's purpose is, their highest potential. And that's part of the test too, because I feel like this person uh, is entitled. I feel like that they had some sort of, um, you know, opportunity to, um, you know, make the right choice. Um, I feel like some, something went to someone's head here. I feel like somebody, that's why they're busy talking about you because I feel like they had an audience at some point. I feel like there could be people who, people who got on board, they wanted to believe something about you, or there could be people that, you know, made them feel better about themselves to be able to talk about people, or, they, or there's people here that were just very busy and um, have their own lives to contend to, their own families and jobs, and just didn't think for any reason this person would be making up lies like that especially if they're a love bomber. Um, but it's all kind of coming to a head here. And the more they criticize you, and the, the more bitter they become, the more things spiral out of control. And the more things spiral out of control, the more they criticize you, and the more bitter they become. And then it becomes a cycle. And the, the harder it is to get out of the cycle, the more they do this because it requires healing and, and they need to stop, really. If they stop, yeah, Knight of Swords reverse, they, they are acting without restraint. They are cheating to get ahead. They are um, out of control. This person's out of control. And anybody that is like associated with this person that has gone along with this kind of abusive behavior here is part of this wheel in the reverse because they took actions they took actions and I, I feel like the universe can be very merciful but also you know repeating the same patterns over and over again that's definite karma that needs to be you know paid it means that something is coming back like a boomerang that's what this is this is a boomerang it's energy because whatever you put out, you have to experience. It's all a mirror. It's a mirror. This, this constant tension, this battle, this confrontation energy. Over, what's it over? It's over a six of cups. And this whole thing could have been all, this could have all stemmed from some sort of a relationship here that was very sweet or that had the potential to be, you know, that like a soulmate connection. That all these people got involved. All these people that got involved, they they have this wheel of fortune reverse to look forward to. Setbacks and karma. Alchemist Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is you. I think this is you getting getting busy working. And I think the outcome especially if you're resonating with this message, just leading towards this Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there's a King of Swords reverse here that's going to be very upset. A King of Wands reverse that's going to be very upset. A King of Pentacles reverse that's going to be very upset. Um, I think that something is going to be definitely illuminated. I think they're going to see this happiness. I think it's going to have to do with the very opposite of whatever these this gossip has been. Um, the results of your efforts. Whoever these people are, three cups reversed, this whole group. 
are going to have to witness something here while they're waiting for their ships to come in, feeling spooked and confused, feeling like they don't love themselves. Anybody who participated in this gossip and this stalking, they're going to have to experience what they tried to put you through. Ace of Cups Reverse. They didn't want you to love yourself. And now they, they're going to have to feel that feeling because that's what they were trying to project at you. And I feel like with this world card here, there's a lot of obstacles. World in the reverse, more obstacles. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's truth coming out about what you've been up to, what kind of a person you are, how absurd these lies are, how unfounded, um, the meaninglessness of it all. Um, because... Because there's, there's bright, there's, um, I feel like there's follow through here. I feel like there's follow through with you. I feel like you're balanced. Even though this person here is trying to criticize you, I feel like the more this person tries to attack you, um, the less confused people are going to be. Um, because this person's just looking like they're out of control and they're a bully because you're not bothering anybody. Yeah, it's all going to backfire. All these words, these messages, this bad energy is backfiring. Wow. Well, if you resonate, um, I hope that it helps. Yeah, I'm going to actually do the, the dice just to see what comes up for you. Um, Jupiter. Scorpio. Pisces, a lot of water, 1, 12, it's, uh, South Node, Gemini, 1, and Mercury. Um, let's do it again. Aquarius, Mars, Saturn, 1. Scorpio, Gemini, 12 again, South Node again, and 12 again. So 12th house could be a big deal, especially with this Pisces that came out. Um, 12th house, yeah, 12, 12, um, 12, 12, 1. Maybe there's something about 12, 12, 1 that is like a particular date that is, you know, significant. Um, L, M, or W, P, A, Q, X, S, Z, It could be names, this could be license plates, um, significant words, um, K, F, driver's license, um, V, B, street names, apartment unit numbers, um, especially if you see multiple significant letters, initials, um, M or W, A, J, Q, T, H, A, R, Y, D, T, X. All right. I hope that helps. If it resonates, I hope it helps. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.